The Student Council. Many student councils do nothing, but my school student council tortures students. There had been stories and rumors that weird stuff goes down on the council, but no one could prove it. Kids would come in bruised, injured, and once a broken leg after they stayed after school. A few kids transferred after a meeting with a member of the council. They would always come up with some excuse for what it was. No one ever dared to run for council. The same kids elected and freshmen were on the council now. I was fed up, and in junior year, I decided I wanted to run for the council and maybe prove I ran my campaign on the foundation of transparency. While a teacher or outsider wouldn't think much of it, my fellow classmates knew what it meant. I would find out what went down on the council. I was very popular among students and had a good chance of winning. I wasn't very popular with the current councilmen and their goons. After I announced my candidacy, it seemed as if more and more kids came in injured or didn't come to school. Many of the kids injured were close friends of mine. Almost all had done something for my campaign. After a month, everyone was on the current councilman's side. My closest friends were ditching me and helping them. All of them were increasingly depressed, bruised, and broken. A few days before the election, I stayed after school because a friend of mine was supposedly going to help a councilman put up more posters. After the bell rang, I went to the cafeteria and hid behind a trash can. Around four, one of the councilmen walked in. He was angry and had his hands and fists. My friend was sitting at a table towards the back of the cafeteria. He looked up and saw the councilman coming. A look of dread and sadness creeped across his face. The councilman got to my friend and started yelling at him. It didn't even sound like he was speaking English, his speech was so garbled. My friend put his head down and started crying, and the councilman kicked a nearby chair and grabbed my friend. He was choking my friend and started dragging him to the student council's moderator's room. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was disgusted and almost alerted the councilman. I slowly followed them to the room. He dragged my friend down three hallways. He wasn't even resisting. Once at the room, he slammed the door closed. But in the process, it didn't close fully. I was able to peek in. The other four councilmen were there in their plat uniforms. A chair was in the middle of the room. Surrounding it were tables with the trophy for best club, chalk, pencils, and a few councilmen grabbed the trophy and raised it over my friend's head. As I ran away, all I could hear were his screams.